Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves 2 as Germany episode number 29. Sorry about the little rush to finish the last one. I just, I always watch the last couple minutes of my last video to kind of pick up, try to pick up where I was leaving off. Um, especially helpful, I think, for those of you who are watching in a playlist and in the future. Uh, I try to get some sense of what, what I was doing. So anyways, um, for the record, <laughs> I, uh, off camera, I did add dual purpose guns to this. Anyways, we're going to see it in another month, but I, I essentially did the work because I didn't want to close the game. I think I had to save it before... I, I had to save the design, otherwise it would just make me do the design from scratch. So, anyway, I did that. Um, the, I know, by the way, that it's just a psychological thing for me, but I don't like videos over 50 minutes. 49 minutes and 59 seconds, which is supposedly at least what the last video was, and <laughs> much too close for comfort at that. Um... That's fine with me, somehow, psychologically. Obviously, there's no difference between 4959 and 5000, but... Italy and Russia signed a treaty to contain German aggression. Man, these guys are just... provoking me. And I forgot to give Italy the... Ah, okay. At the end of this episode, I'll have to, like, put this... Turn that upside down. Hopefully that reminds me when I finish. I'll look at it and be like, why is it like that? Oh, yeah, go and give Italy the colony. I was hoping that um, there would be a re some kind of neutral event that gives it to anybody, but I really don't. Th those are so f they're pretty rare, and I, I don't think that uh, there's so many neutral colonies. Why would they pick the Marshall Islands? So let's give it to Italy, and let's go to war with Italy, and then let's take it ourselves if, if we can. Um, okay, change of government in Italy has potential to reduce tensions. Uh, fair words, but the policies of Italy have always, always has, and always will be a threat to world peace and stability. This is probably just going to war. I think we do this. Increase loading mechanism. We're really capable of going to war with them. Uh, Japan, who's, you know, we'll just send them a note. Okay, let's rework this design now, so you can see it. Yeah, Italy's not at war with us yet, so anyways... Um, we have the three dual purpose guns. I don't even remember what was going on with this. Just, so this is, I'm looking at this as if the first, for the first time. 35 knots, the three double turrets of dual purpose. That's good. We have a, no, 10 torpedo tubes. We do have the AA directors, which is going to help greatly our accuracy in the main guns. Uh, we did get some mines on this. Yes, we, we went down to, oh, we can actually get 20 on it now. Well, then I'd rather do that. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> the one machine gun was just there because I think our mines were maxed out, but if it's possible to exchange that for more mines, I think we'll do that instead. The light anti-aircraft only protecting the ship itself, it will not, as far as I know, it will not protect other ships. So we'll do one. <laughs> we're, you know, then these constant refits where we do like 10 iterations, it probably does end up being kind of a lot of money dropped. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, that doesn't matter. It's a pretty insubstantial, you know, 100, or what is it, even 700, five times, let's say, is 3,500. It's not a whole lot for our budget. So, um, okay, so what else do we have going on? I think that this is, I mean, look at I designed it at some point to be good as it was with just the lack of dual purpose. We have the dual purpose we got. I think we took down the number of torpedo tubes by another one, and that probably helped. I like it. So let's save, and we're gonna probably want it out pretty quickly. Cost 80, so that's really nothing. Less than I expected it would take. Mosels are in for their refit. They'll be out in another four months. Sternbringers are 20 months away, so they're actually getting close to finishing. I did post a big thread about the top heaviness of the um, fleet composition. I actually crunched the numbers and it, the number of battleships and battle cruisers, which I'm just going to call battleships. Let's just call all these battleships because we're getting to the point where our uh, battle cruisers don't really exist anymore. They're pretty much all battleships, or at least let's just pretend that or classify them. I want one term which takes both of these, and I could say capital ship, but that would probably include carriers, blah, blah, blah. So we'll just call these two combined battleships for a moment. And I was looking at the ratio of battleships to light cruisers, battleships to destroyers, battleships to destroyers plus corvettes even, and the ratios were not very good. 
So I think that in general, battleships, total battleships, battleships and battle cruisers, to destroyers, the ratio is like one to one, which does not necessarily seem that good. Um, there were some people giving some pushback on that, saying that that sounds fine. I don't know what, <clears throat> what, where this perception of mine comes from that, well, I mean, I looked up the numbers and although that a lot of the smaller details, I don't, I actually don't know how much of the, how much of the smaller, uh, like coastal mine sweeping, coastal patrol, patrol boat type stuff is abstracted. But anyways, um, I looked up pre Washington Naval Treaty. I think the U.S. built like 360 destroyers up until that point through World War One, and 60 battleships. So it's like a six to one ratio, which sounds a little bit more right to me than one to one. <laughs> so anyway, so we have a lot of these ships which could go on. Um, which could save us money if we wanted by going to reserve fleet, but I feel like we're actually pretty close. We can probably force the war even by doing this. This will probably end up causing a war. So the Tudor Vault, this is actually amazing. The Bockenheims, which are 900 tons and 17 maintenance, have a ASW of 5. What? And the Tutaburger Vald with K guns has an ASW of six, which doesn't make any sense to me. Shouldn't the ASW on something with K guns just be much better? I don't know. I don't know who's who's to decide these things. Oh yeah, there's a rebellion in Nigeria. I forgot about that. Russia has proposed a five series five. What? I don't necessarily want to piss them off right now. But I will. I'm kind of getting a little cocky. We've won so many wars lately that I probably need a butt kicking in order to Admiral Torturpitz, I should say. Oh, medium bomber. Okay, so yeah, we'll take this. I don't know if we have the technology to build these yet. Okay, so I think that this is going to be perfect now. So let's just start building these. That wasn't too bad. I'm glad we did that. So let's get a whole bunch of these. Uh, Sudslifa. <laughs> Something like that. 12 of them is 6 million, which I think we can afford. And their ASW is 8. That still seems strange to me. It's like this, uh, I don't know what happened. I don't know why that this is five. And honestly, still the best ship for ASW per maintenance is the Glukstads. So I'm glad that we have so many of them. <clears throat> we don't want these to be on active force. Actually, we're going to put these back into reserve because we don't want them fighting. Also the same with the Brat Verstals. We don't want these. So we'll put them back into reserve. It's not going to save a lot of money. It's more just so they don't get paired with our fleet um, in any kind of other situation. Still waiting for the Mosels before our slick things get selected. Unfortunately, that means we have no light cruisers in Europe, but, you know, c'est la vie. Oh, yeah. I needed 21 of those. <laughs> well, go stuff it. Also, there was a comment recently about... Ooh. Nice. Secondary director on light cruisers. Okay. Uh, there was also a comment about adding light, uh, the, hmm. what territory did we take? Like here? Yeah. So let's build some fortifications in some of these places where we didn't yet. Um, Cameroon has three, two, probably not as important down here. Oh, an air base. Yes, we want, we probably want these areas to have air bases because this is a pretty, I would say that this is a very contested area. So Tanjanika, Tanjanik, whatever. We should get uh, the air base at Dar es Salaam. Let's go ahead and take care of that immediately. So East Africa, Indian Ocean should say this one. So yeah, let's increase the air base of, for both of these. I don't know how much the actual airbase costs in maintenance. 
That is a lot of money. Oh, that's construction. Okay, that's actually okay. Be kind of nice to see a little bit more of a breakdown of the numbers. It's a, just kind of a mystery. Where else might there be little flare ups? I mean, this has two. I think Djibouti is not close enough to invade Masua. Darn it. I look at if this research does I'm going to say that this is probably a bug amphibious operations are not moving anywhere beyond I'm even gonna put this down to medium because I don't know what's going on I don't know if it's like why it's not taking over maybe some bug I don't know you know Russian tensions have dropped we're, we're pretty much okay for a war at this point though we're ready if uh, things happen to delay another year and a half, that would be even better. We'd have our Sturmbringers out, but even as is, I feel pretty confident we can take both the Italians and probably even the Italians and Russians at the same time. Seems like a pretty big statement, but um, they're not in the same sea zone, so that's why I think it's possible. Let me fix my chair. Eh, we'll just continue to piss them off. Whoa, they did not like that. What do you mean you're so upset about being caught spying? It should be us getting mad at you. I, I guess that is what tensions are modeling, is the bilateral relations, not unilateral. So let's see. Is there anything else? I mean, we're ready. We are ready for this war. We have a technology sharing agreement with the United States. Maybe? Has that ended? I don't know. All right, the newest. Ooh. So, ours is better. That's what I would say. Well, geez, is it? That's actually pretty good. My goodness. This is a 1926. Wow, that's actually so. The where where we have an advantage, quality one 17 inch guns. Where they have an advantage, five and a half inch deck. I don't remember what ours is. They definitely have an advantage in belt, which I think ours is 12, 11. So we'll look up five and a half for deck and 15 and a half for turrets. Okay, aviation pundits are excited about the new aircraft type medium bomber. Good. So that means we have those. <laughs> And we're not doing anything, so let's just check as well if we can request a dive bomber. We want range and bomb load. Probably we actually just want bomb load first and then reliability, maybe even toughness. Okay, that all aircraft is not known. So medium bombers apparently we can do. We would also want probably bomb load and range for these. Okay, so we were able to do that. Uh, again, there's not yet a pop-up to let you know what things you can build and why by the way people probably want to know why what are we doing with this? We're not building stuff and this is yeah, this is quite intentional Is the base still upgrading it is okay one more month <clears throat> um, Okay, we'll piss them off as well I think that prestige and tension might even be better than Budget up, prestige down. Our unrest is kind of get trickling up because we're rocking the boat with the budget, but we'll do it anyway. It's hard for me to get around it. It's such a good option. Yeah, and do we have... See, we don't have any fortifications here. I'm glad that I checked. It also seems like it might be... Somewhere around here was probably... I mean, that might be the best place for an airbase is... Kota Baru, part of probably Malaya, yeah. We don't really need, so we don't really need it here. I probably will still build the fortifications. I know that these are going to be a bit expensive, but like I said, based on my analysis with the Bismarck Archipelago, it might even be worth more than the turrets we're building there. And I probably will, let's say around 19, I guess very soon, I'm going to scrap the air base, the, um, sorry, the I think it's almost time for us to scrap the airship bases. They've been fun, they've been around since 1912, my goodness. But probably it's time for them to go. What's the maintenance on these? Cost per month is 56 without aircraft. 
that's for an air base. The naval air stations, which is the home ones, I guess, cost a little bit less. They're 39, so it looks like, was that 50% more for air bases, which is like the non-home territory ones. So we have a 10 inch coastal in Germany and we have a 10 inch, I think in Panama, but that's worth protecting. In fact, Panama probably also deserves, despite its like lack of proximity to anything, it probably also deserves an air base. So let's go ahead and let's add that as well. Caribbean, Panama built, okay. It's a long rebellion. Oh, well, what do you know? We have not. We now have dive bombers. <laughs> dive bombers are interesting. I think that in the end you can do more damage with torpedoes, obviously, but uh, the dive bombers can actually target es escort ships pretty easily. Whereas you're probably not likely to hit those kind of ships um, with with torpedoes. I don't. I, I've actually been hit in my Japanese streams. I've been hit by torpedoes. Uh, tor uh, I should say torpedo bombers have hit one of my destroyers, which seems unlikely, but I guess it's, it's not like impossible. It's just when you see it, you're skeptical how that happened. Boy, we would really love to go to war with the British. Yeah, so off camera, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make the Falkland Islands part of the United States. I'm going to make uh, Marshall Islands part of Italy. And if Nigeria ends up falling, then... I don't know, I'll leave that one. Huh. I don't know actually who that sh who sh should take it over. Okay, we're com finishing all these things. AP projectiles is helping us. Uh, US, I should say, is helping us with those. They're also helping us with heavier than air, good. Medium bombers now ready, very good. So let's go to aircraft types and see, do we have multiples? We have two flying boats still. One is much longer range. Is it the same old thing, poor versus average? Better in every way. So a lot of people, or I shouldn't say a lot of people, I think two different people, at least one person has mentioned that they didn't find anything about maneuverability and the ability to of um, bombers to target things. Wow, this is, what is this? This torpedo bomber is, my hero. It has good reliability. Heck yeah. And okay, fantastic. And it has good range. I mean, this is this is going to be the the torpedo bomber for a while to come. I would say. Ah, you do have longer range. So what I'm planning to do is when we go to war, I'm planning to add a template of like twenty flying boats everywhere, which is going to be very expensive, but. I think it's going to be worth it. It's going to be simple. We're not going to be building fighters. We're just going to build a crap ton of flying boats to prevent ASW and maybe to do something. They're at least going to be scouting for us, which is probably the best thing we can hope for, at least until a little bit later. I don't know. The amount of maintenance that we're going to pay for naval aircraft is, it's I guess, 20 per airship, not 18 as reported here. So it's going to be very, very expensive. Again, airships probably should go. No. Yeah, and I think that we are just going to get rid of the airbase right after whatever war comes next. So who do we want to provoke this with? We have all these ships sitting on, you know, maximum. Wait, are all our Mosels back? They are. Okay, so let's start getting these Mosels to foreign stations instead. Or actually, oddly enough, we kind of want them to be refit again. Advanced director. Yeah, this submerged mounts are just. This thing's only twenty three knots. <laughs> I know that it's the the turrets are not. Good lord! I it's actually hard to. <laughs> this is an old 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 cruiser. I'd almost like to get rid of this and get a new cruiser altogether. In fact, I mean a lot of the. I mean part of the problem right now is that. There's no cruisers in the world, so it's hard to even justify building cruisers. Certainly wouldn't want to be building heavy cruisers, even though some nations are beginning to do that. 
And the light carriers are starting to pop out in big numbers. Have I revealed my Rhineland class yet? I haven't done anything with the Rhineland class. Okay. Well, should we should we do it? Okay, port midship, starboard midship. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Um, four here. Take this down. We'll see how many we need. Fifty-three. What about ninety? He's a madman. It can be done. I'm just going to design things the way I want them to be designed. We'll see if we can make it work. 600, 600. Well, this is a very light carrier. Let's go up to 32,000. Okay, now we're talking. Okay, now we're talking. Um, to be defense four. I need to knock this down to ninety seven. Well, belt two point five. We'll do incline belt. Get this back up to ninety eight. Um, take this down to three. Twenty eight seems fine to me. Now, I think we actually can. Oh my gosh, it's ready. 98 aircraft. Holy cow. What have we done? <laughs> I really wanted 5 inch dual purpose guns on this. I really did. However, are at least medium guns, but <clears throat> those things aren't available to us. I could go with 3 inch dual purpose guns. I'm not a huge fan of them. I mean, 16 is actually a pretty good number to get. I mean, we don't, we're not like limited by anything. The only thing that we could do is maybe, oh, well, you hit zero, but I think that these might actually benefit from instead taking the six light anti-aircraft guns. Holy cow, this thing has 98 aircraft. And I know Clausewitz keeps appearing here, but, and that will be eventually one of the names, but this is the Rhineland class. It, it is, and it has always been meant as the Rhineland class carrier. And it may be the carrier for a very long time to come. We'll probably build a lot of them. Wow, I didn't even realize we hit exactly zero. That's wonderful. She's a big ship. I think she's probably worth getting um, a second. Aha, can't fool me. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't like it here, but... Okay, whatever, we'll just delete... I, it, it, she should have two funnels, right? Nah, fine, she'll be one funnel. She's so modern. <laughs> oh! I do have an idea for this one. I was thinking about making this new carrier long range. And at the cost of two aircraft when you have four aircraft, it would cost us several aircraft to do this. If we just maybe, okay, what if we just increase this instead to 33,000? We can get 98 still, long range. Um, the reason why I'm thinking about doing this this carrier is going to be meant to operate... Well, no, we don't need to, actually, uh, when I think about it, because we're at 100 now. Holy cow. We don't need to because we have bases pretty much everywhere. The reason why I was thinking about it is, like, you know, the, the Midway, the Central Pacific. You might need things there, but um, right now we're doing okay. I guess we have bases in so many places that we actually can benefit from that. 
So let's let's leverage those bases so we don't put this as a, a long range ship. One of the other things we could do is just bump up her speed a little bit more. It's pretty expensive to do that, and the maintenance will suffer as well. Okay, well, I really wish we could get 5-inch guns on her. In fact, part of me says maybe we should just, like, over-armor her a bit. Um, increase her, like, basically l allow 5, oh, so we need 500. We can always drop the aircraft down, and I think eventually what we'll do is drop the aircraft down and put 5-inch dual-purpose guns on her. That's what I'm thinking we'll do. And I don't think the turrets in that case matter, so we'll go back uh, to this. What the hell? I don't... Huh. I don't think Deck Park does anything right now. I don't think it's in, uh, used, so... Um... Don't... Okay, Director. Why do we have so much weight remaining? Oh, because of this one tick? What the heck? What do we do? Just making sure this... Yeah, okay, so too many. Can't do that. We have 100, so we could just keep dropping this down, I guess. I'm at everything I want. I don't want over 100, because more than this... I mean, I might even take this down to 98. I kind of like being conservative. Okay, well, we'll go with 99. Oh, okay, 32,100 seems to hit the spot. I might want the extra tonnage, just the, again, for this upgrade later in life. And we'll be able to drop, as I said, the, uh, the number of aircraft down a bit if we have to as well. Well, everything's okay for the Rhineland. We'll save her, we'll overwrite. And it's going to take a while, but... Yeah, let's re let's let's start working on our carrier. I went in thinking I was gonna what design a like a cruiser maybe, did not happen. Okay, tech sharing with the United States is over. New French battle cruiser. These should be good because because they're all gonna be modern. Four and a half inch deck is pretty good. We haven't invested in any kind of scouts. Ah. Improve seaplane carry. Yeah, we'll do that. Sure. Faster than our... Oh, French fighter. Eh. So we have some things going obsolete here. The, the Mosels. <laughs> right on time. And even the Schlichtings are going obsolete. So we do need to address this situation. Okay. So let's get these three Mosels to Southeast Asia. I'm just going to do them in reverse order. One to the South Pacific. Probably going to need two in the Caribbean, but let's do the Asian theater first. Um, Northeast Asia. How many do I need there? Probably two. Let's just send two. Is there 50, so 11,000 for Northeast Asia? Yeah, we'll need two. Uh, Southeast Asia, we sent three, and that's the appropriate amount. Then we need two for both the Indian Ocean and for West Africa. We sent one to South Pacific, so we need two for, let's say, the Indian Ocean, which a little bit further away, and the Schlichtings can cover the rest. So two for the Indian Ocean. Okay, good. So we'll wait for those to arrive first. build uh, roads for long-term benefit. That weight savings is going to impact our if light cruisers the ability to launch smoke boats. That is going to impact our um, carrier. Might as well get one extra knot then. 29 knots, why not? It doesn't, the thing is I don't think speed impacts carriers as much in this game as it might in real life. Okay. Do we want to push the Italians over the edge? I don't know. I'm, I would love for it to happen, but I'm a little nervous to actually do it. All right, let's start off by getting the these ships to Southeast Asia. War is imminent, imminent, not eminent, imminent, and let's just start preparing 
for that as such. Now, whether it happens with, we don't have short range ships, right? The only short range ships we have are the Blukers and they're gonna stay in Northeast Asia. That, I mean, Northern Europe, that's fine. Which means that the only ships that we have to like project power right now are the Fire Drekas and the Gneisnows. The whole Henslorns are only gonna be an Asian theater type dreadnought. We do need to replace the Schlichtings. We have the Koenigsaikas, these guys are obsolete. These are actually to the point where I think that they're worth scrapping. Unfortunately, somebody gave me a thing. So I, uh, somebody redid this. Um, Birdie Legs did this really nicely. Okay, this, I need to set a reminder for two things then. I need to get this in here. Oh, but unfortunately I already saw that there's an error if I do it. So anyways, essentially what he did is, and I would like to kind of duplicate. I'm not gonna be able to do it justice. Let me try to get, uh, send him the latest version. And I might, oh God. What frickin', okay, this is 137, that's too far. Don't do it, don't do it, 133. 133. What? Okay, there we go, and then just delete this one. Delete this one, I think it was a two, or was it a three funnel? All right, it worked. So I want to put a little flight deck in here. Yeah, that's fine. We'll do um, we'll do a symmetric superstructure. I assume that that's not going to be there. It is. So there it is. This is the refit. <laughs> uh, don't don't ask me. I don't know. <laughs> She, oh, well, maybe she should have a landing pad of some kind. All right, whatever. It doesn't have to be glorious. It's something better than what it was. <laughs> right? Okay, so anyways, what else do these guys need? Well, they do have a little bit of space remaining. What we'd like to do is increase the aircraft. See, it's still impossible. Hmm. Yeah, this thing is just not... Oh, well, let's get rid of the land... We do want that, but for one aircraft, it's hardly worth it. The other thing we could do is make them more defensive. No, I think that they're just going to have cap as their defense. These are probably going to be retired <laughs> very soon. Maintenance of 253 is really not that good. I almost can't justify keeping them in. We have the Graf Zeppelin, which is in as 229. Oh my gosh. I'm afraid to do it, but I look at, we're going to have to, I think we're going to have to scrap these. They're more for one third of the aircraft. They're slightly more of the maintenance and they're lower speed. They're just, I mean, I can't, I really can't. It's hard for me to justify it in any way. Keeping these. Yeah. I'm just going to make the decision to scrap these guys. I, honestly, what they would probably what would probably happen with them in real life is that they'd be converted to like a an escort role. They'd be like escort carriers, but we don't I don't think we have that kind of option in this game. You know, if we had a little bit more control over the battles or the order of battles and then the way things ha you know, if we were if we had as much control as you do or even something closer to the control you have in like War in the Pacific or even Hearts of Iron. I think we'd be able to do to make them work, but because the randomness in the battle and, you know, them possibly entering a battle we don't want them to enter, we uh we're not going <clears> to <throat> we're not going to keep them around. So we'll be actually the only nation without light carriers. Well, I oddly enough besides Japan who could probably benefit from them the most. <clears throat> but just for now, and we do have one carrier I'm sure we'll get back to light carriers eventually, especially as I mentioned in one comment, if we ever have um, a peace treaty of some kind. Okay, so the prototype's ready for evaluation. 319, bomb load is mainly what I'm looking at here. They're all the same bomb load. These can carry torpedoes. I don't think we care though. This looks pretty good. 342, 
better range. What is wrong with this one? Like nothing. A little bit slower, but in every way, fantastic. It carries torpedoes. Okay, this is the 186 is definitely better than the 187. <laughs> Only difference is uh, slightly in the terms of the speed, but the range. Oh, and range. I see. But lower firepower, lower maneuverability. I think we'll go with this one. This is a great one, and. It's going to lose in terms of firepower, but higher maneuverability, higher toughness, better... Oh, actually not... Oh, two 1400s versus one 2000. Yeah, so we'll go with this one. We will rework this design because of the weight savings. We actually have the ability probably to increase her speed if I want... Ooh, 500, you say. Well, we could just keep that as available space for the 5-inch dual-purpose guns that we eventually refit these with. Oh my god, dual purpose was not activated. What the heck? Tortuga! I, I know that people were just screaming at their monitors. <laughs> so I'm sorry I made you do that. Uh, we have a little bit of weight remaining we can put into... These are very expensive. Uh, in terms, We can put a few more light anti-aircraft guns. We have pretty good guns as far as four inch, three inch, lots of stuff. So we'll save this, it'll be put out for another month. And then next month, okay, it looks like we're going to war with Russia now. So those Hohenzollerns, which we had shipped off for Southeast Asia. By the way, with Italy, there's, I guess the only thing that we would be able to take is the Central Pacific thing. Um, yeah, we want those in Northeast Asia. I guess Russia is the next opponent. That way we can give, uh, Italy a little bit of time to get money out of their colony here. Possibly in, enforce it or send foreign station over. Who knows? Okay, we work the design yet again. And now I'm really not saying... I mean, the only thing I... <laughs> we can, you never can uh, change the design enough, right? So that's a huge increase. 60, 60. 60, 60. 60, 60, 60. Yeah, we're getting uh, 60 jumps. Hmm. I'm thinking if we go up by a little bit more, how much is it going to increase the cost? So this is where she's at right now. 87.4. If I go up by 2 and then jack this up, 88. So 87.2 was it? Eight, it's 0.8 million more per, but the I think that's actually worth it to get the better dispersion and stuff from the anti-aircraft guns. We might even want to go up one more. Ooh, that we didn't get as much benefit out of that. Because uh, ultimately, when we go to 5-inch guns here, we again now lack the space to do that. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I went up to 190. That was probably just a um, mistake. Okay, so we can get 56 now. These are double turrets. These are double turrets. We have a little bit of space remaining for the 5-inch gun, and we can take down the light anti-aircraft guns. We'd want to get these down as well when we start using medium anti-aircraft guns. Um, we're at 88 million. How much is this one bump going to cost us? That's enough that I'm not worth. I don't think it's worth doing. So let's save this. The Rhineland once again. <laughs> Can we double check things, Tortuga, before we just hit save for you know the last time when we don't need to? I don't think we have flight, uh, flight deck catapults yet. 1930 seems like it's way too early for that. But I'm. I think we're settling in on the final result. I imagine that in future series, I won't have to do this as often. I'll probably have a much better idea of what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to move these immediately right over to Northeast Asia. Because I think that's where ultimately they will be, uh, they will belong. So let's get this whole group to refit first. And what do we want to do? These are coal fire. This is so crazy. We at least need to throw uh, a new thing of paint on them. Get advanced director. Which is not too bad. It's only three months. 
And I guess we just throw on a little bit of anti-aircraft that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. No, I'd rather get the mines. I, I would actually rather have mines. Absolutely. I may even want to abandon... Look, at, I think I'm going to abandon some of our torpedo tubes. Actually, you know what? The fact that I have any, I might as well just keep all... I'm, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm not going to do that. So, advanced director... Director secondaries, we're actually overweight now. I don't know if we... Well, we don't need director. We have no guns. Silly. So we either... Yeah, there's no way for us to... Oh, we could bull jump. Mm. <laughs> Can we? Yes. All right, all right. Hear me out here. The reason why I'm thinking about doing this, 21 versus 23 are both just too slow. They're, they're kind of, I mean, it doesn't really gain you anything to do 23 versus doing 21. Essentially, they're both just really slow. These things are not going to be meant to fight anything that they can outrun. Uh, I mean, they're not meant to outrun anything they can't outfight because they're already incapable of doing that without a machinery replacement. Now, a lot of people keep asking me, it's a question I get every series and I answer probably three or four times every series. Why not just replace the machinery? And we're getting to the point, by the way, where I think the Mosels would actually benefit from just being scrapped. I'm now really strongly considering that. However, let's at least use it as an example. So, improving advanced director, probably the real bit rebuild cost on this if we do nothing. Okay, we can just start from scratch. Let's take the time to get everyone to be on the same page. 735, if I do this, it's 800, 1800. Now, replacing the machinery is uh, 5,500. So if we wanted to use that to benefit our speed, this is a 30, uh, sorry, 14,000 um, cost replacement. So 15 months at 900, yeah, it just is absolutely not worth it. It costs, remember these Mosels themselves cost like what? What's this cost of the Mosel? Let's look at the Mosel. And she is a $26 million cost. So $13 million, you're essentially buying half of a new ship entirely just to increase your engines from 23 to 27 knots and going to oil. I would much rather have three ships compared to your two, even if mine are a little bit slower. It just, it almost, it seems un completely... I always say that everyone can play the way they want, but it almost seems like completely unjustifiable to ever replace machinery. <laughs> the only time you'd want to do it, I think, is if you're limited by a treaty and you want to improve your capital ships. The only way you can do that, you can't build new ones, you can't upgrade your guns or anything like that. Those are all restricted things. So the only thing you can try to do is uh, maybe just increase the speed of the existing ones. And it is worth it at that point because even though it's only a marginal gain, it's the only kind of gains you can get in that situation. Or it might even be better, there's probably a counter argument there, just not doing that, saving the money and immediately building a new design when you go to war. But if you wanna be good in the next upcoming war, you probably can replace machinery. So that's uh, Tortuga's two cents on the matter. I think we're gonna wrap this video up early because I do want to go and change uh, Italy to control that island so we have something to do in Asia if we do go to war with them. Although, frankly, Oh, okay, good. I'm actually glad the Great Britain crushed the rebels. Torturpets wouldn't say that, but from a game standpoint, I'm happy. Vladimir's under construction. This is a night. Well, so they're also keeping their old designs. I think that we are going to. Is this it? Is the Rhineland ready to go? I think she's finally ready to go. Yep, I think she's ready to go. Okay, well, there's no change right now. Yeah. All right, let's build her. Or I can... No, we're going to build her. So the Rhineland, the first one is laid down. The next one, I do want to make sure the Clausewitz gets in here. The air uh, also one we want to build. And I know that I don't have enough money to do this, but we'll build this. Clausewitz, I guess I can't build her yet, can I? Oh, I, I mean, there's a few other names I have. I almost forgot. Nordrhein, Westfalen, the Zugspots. Okay, so, sorry. 
Uh, just sorry, Air, you will be in there eventually, but I had some supporters who have some prioritization here. And the next one will actually be the uh, Nordrhein Westphalen. Okay, but we don't have the money to do that. Uh, the Sturmbringers are actually going to finish in time for the next war. That's amazing. But for now, let me call this video to a close. Thanks for watching, and we'll pick this back up in the next episode. Hopefully by then I'll have given Italy their colony, and the United States will take the Falklands. And then uh, we'll see. I'm glad that uh, Nigeria didn't fall. And there's still plenty of neutral places out there for the game events to choose should they want. So, okay, until then, thanks for watching, and take care.